Okay, and we are back. Um, again, not back. I don't know why I say that when the first time I, I do a certain type of, of video. Um, but here I'm going to do um, a new thing called Tear Maker, although I don't really know how new it is. Um, so I've been around for a while, but uh, it's new to me. Um, so similar to like the Brackify things and Would You Rather, blah, 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 blah. It's just a ranking um, thing. So in this case, uh, we are doing a Rainbow Six Siege edition, um, which I enjoy. Um, I don't really make videos on Rainbow Six anymore, although I probably should. Um, I only get to play it, um, maybe once every couple weeks now, and uh, I only play for like 30, 45 minutes at a time. So, um, so I am out of practice with it. I'm not super awesome with it anymore. And yeah, oh, Robocop. Um, so, uh, we're gonna go. Let's do this. So as you can see, we have uh, just a ranking system here at the top, S, A, B, C, D, with all the little icons down here. And uh, I, should be able to name all of these. There is not the brand new season that just came out a couple weeks ago, so this is at least um, at least a few weeks old. Um, so we are missing the the latest season of Operators, but I'm not super familiar with them anyway. You know, Mozzie and um, Roadblock. Um, so I they are not on here. So let's get going. So again, S. Uh, there's like superior and then a b c d and uh, apparently there's no f's um but okay so uh first up oh these are probably alphabetical i guess they are yeah so here we have alibi um so alibi fairly new um i do not play her very much and again this is all just my opinion um, so in no way does this work for everybody. Some people really love particular people and I may not. Um, so in my opinion, um, people should not fall for her, uh, for her tricks and such. So she is more like a C or a D operator for me. So Ash, again, I am not much of a run and gun style when it comes to Rainbow Six. I am more of a slow player and strategist rather than just run and gun. Um, however, she is extremely useful. Very high pick operator might be the top, um, at least for attacker, she's guaranteed to be the top uh, top pick. So um, I am fine with her being an A, although for me, she'd be more of a B or a C. I just don't play her. Um, Blitz. So Blitz, I actually do really like. He is obviously extremely useful. A little less useful than what, um, or at least now with uh, Kaya being out. So um, Blitz to me is still like a uh, pretty high. So I'm gonna say B. Um, a Blackbeard who I used to play with a lot. Um, uh, still extremely useful. Still a very high pick operator um, and a high win percentage. Um, so somewhere in this range, I'll go ahead and say A for now. Okay, Blitz, who um, uh, at least was buffed, he's a little bit faster now, um, so the shield operators to me are just not very useful. So Blitz, to me, um, and that's really just my play style, I try to do the shield operators every once in a while, just doesn't pan out well for me. So, um, speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and skip Damani, who also is a D for me. All right, Buck. Um, Buck to me is actually very good at being able to switch, but so many people have like sidearm shotguns and stuff. His gun is useful, the skeleton key is useful, but the I I, I don't know. He's like he's a he's a B for me. Um, Capitao. Um, probably more in the CD range, but I'm gonna go ahead and say C, um, cause he is useful against Clash, he is useful in, um, like securing the area, things like that, but, um, obviously, Bomb, you get too spread out, and, uh, uh Hostage, uh, is dangerous, um, kinda like a Fuse, so let's, speaking of which, let's jump to Fuse, Fuse, I love Fuse, might be like my highest played person 
Um, for anything not hostage, uh, he is very, very useful in my opinion. Um, he has that very recognizable sound when he puts his, his charges down. That's kind of a downside for me, but still uh, very, very good in my opinion. I had to give somebody a superior, right? Uh, man, I don't know. All right, so Castle. Castle is not great. That's a very low pick and very low win percentage, only because I think people play him wrong. Um, I think you, with him, you play away from the objective or above the objective and blocking off hatches. Um, I think that's the most useful part of Castle. Um, but because he's such a low pick and a low win percentage, I'll go ahead and give him a D. Uh, now, Cav um, can be very useful. Oh, man, who the heck am I going to give an A to? Or uh, the superior to? Is there somebody? Or am I just, am I going to have to, I'm going to have to maybe do some shuffling around. Um, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Because I, I do have some people that I play with a lot that, to me, are, are very, very good and I have success with. So, Cav... Um, Cav, uh, while she's been nerfed a little bit, is extremely useful to have. You definitely want a good Cav player on your team. Um, she might go up here. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm not great with her, um, unless it's older maps that I'm very familiar with. Um, but you do need good map knowledge with her, so... Oh, but she's a superior for me, so... Clash? Now, Clash, I really like. Now, she's... Technically, down here as a shield operator, she's down here in this this range right here. I think she's a lot of fun to play with, and if if you're smart with her and you communicate, you have to communicate with your teammates or at least ping. Um, she can be more useful, um, but I would say she's probably a C for most people. Um, and actually, I know another superior would be Rook. So let's skip to Rook. And move Rook to Superior. Now Rook as a total operator is not great. Um, his guns are so-so. He does have the ACOG, but um, obviously he's more of the uh, more of an anchor um, for your team and going to be more in the objective, playing in the objective rather than uh, spawn peeking or, or anything like that, playing always. But uh, highest win percentage for defense is when you have a Rook on your team and uh, giving you that body armor. So uh, I think just because of the fact that you always want a Rook or possibly a Doc um, is the most important. So Doc, uh, I'm going to put one tier below. Um, you need either or. I don't necessarily think you need both, but you need either or. The problem with Doc is that so many of them go off and do their own thing or, or self-heal and um, don't always help out or forget that they're playing Doc. So Doc is an A. Um, Dokabi, I think has a pretty high win percentage, um, but to me, isn't awesome. So many people I notice with Dokabi, like they do the little phone call thing and then they never push, um, which is bizarre to me. It's the same with like Ying, where people will throw in her little uh, candelas and then never push. Like, why? Why would you waste this? So. Um, C for me, but I think most people would put her a little bit higher. Uh, Echo, I think Echo for the planting purposes is great. Um, I am not a fan. I don't like Echo. Um, so to me, he's more of uh, a C, but I will put him as a B because I understand his usefulness, um, especially when it comes to um, uh, bomb and, and planting. Right, Ella. Um, Ella was so great at the beginning, um, but obviously she's been nerfed a little bit. Um, she's somewhat useful, just not quite as useful as she used to be. Um, so I'm gonna say B. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess B is probably good. <laughs> All right, um, um, I'm gonna get some other people in here, so let's just go with the other. Um, uh, Zofia, um, I think is probably on the same range. I feel like not picked as much, um, but I'm also gonna go B there. Um, Finca, I know I love Finca. 
Um, I think Pinka is extremely useful, and then having that uh, LMG on attack is very useful. So I I love playing as Finca. Um, Frost, again, I think you just need to know where you put your stuff down. Um, so many people don't, or have got away from the habit of looking, because I think she's got lower picked now. Um, but I'm finding, and I just played Rainbow Six the other day, and uh, got several people in Frost Traps, and I only played with her for a, a few rounds. So, uh, I, I still think she's got good guns. I think she, I think the Frost Traps are still extremely useful. Glaz is useful on just a few maps, um, and I am not great with Glaz. I don't have great aim, so uh, he's bottom, but he is extremely useful on on three, four, five maps. Um, so I will give that. Um, Habana uh, is extremely useful. Um, she's got really good guns. I mean, I think for hatches and at least getting through uh, reinforced walls, she's great. Um, IQ uh, is, I guess, fine for traps and stuff like that, but um, I never play with her and I don't find her as useful. Um, so I'm going to go there. Um, speaking of traps, let's jump to Cap Can because um, I do enjoy a good Cap Can and I think. I think he's uh, in an A or a B range. Um, the fact that his stuff doesn't go for the straight kills now, um, just does the damage, uh, is the reason why. Um, about uh, Lion. Um, so Lion, I don't play with anywhere near as much as Finca. Um, now Lion can be OP because you're pinching, but again, with people like when people play Lion, they don't push. Same with like Ying. When you pop that thing, you know people are stopped and they're not moving, they're not rotating, so they're 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 stopped. So people need to know as Lion they gotta push. Um, so the fact that most people don't, um, he falls down here. Now I think most people put him up much higher, but it is for that. Um, Valk. For communication purposes, uh, she's very high for me, and I think she has a very high win percentage um, and pick percentage uh, for defense, so I'm going up there. Um, the, man, the, <laughs> they put all the recruits in here, like there's a difference between them, um, but the recruits, because they don't have specials, but they're two speed, two, uh, two armor is helpful. Um, but they don't have the they don't have the special abilities, um, so all the recruits are C's or D's for me. Oh, they're very well rounded. They just don't have the extra things that they can bring. Sorry for all those recruit mains. Um, speaking of D level, sorry. I know he probably should be here, uh, but uh, Tachanka's got to go at the bottom. Um, let's see, Legion, I'm um, just kind of picking random people now. Legion, uh, right now, is my top played defender, I think. Um, and I have very good success with him, and I always rock his shotgun, and it works very well for me. Um, so he is, I think he has a very high win percentage and pick percentage right now. Uh, last time I checked, he's, he's very high up there. Um, Nomad, I dislike very much. Uh, um, mainly because I, I just have not played with her or Kayed very much. Um, I feel like Kayed's usefulness, though, is right above Blitz, so I'm going to put him at the A. Um, Mira um, is, a, is probably an A for me as well. Um, as long as people don't screw things up, like if Mira wants to reinforce walls or not reinforce walls, just stay away from Mira on defense. Let, let that player do her thing, right? Um, Jackal, um, again, I, I don't think people utilize Jackal right, um, but can be very good. He does have a good gun. Um, it's kind of like in an A tier, I guess, for me. I just, I don't play him as much. Uh, Jaeger, minus the ACOG, is an A, but again, extremely useful. I think a fairly high win percentage, um, probably. Um, Maestro, I dislike um now i understand his uh, his cameras and laser things are, are very useful 
Um, I just, I don't play with him very much. Um, so I guess B. Um, Maverick, I do love, I do like his gun. I do not play with very often, um, but I think because of how quiet he is, uh, I think he's gonna be an S for me. Um, Mute, also like a little less useful now, um, but still extremely useful, I think. Um, so I'm gonna go A. I gotta speed up this video. Pulse. Um, Pulse, I don't think people are very smart with, and he's a little yes, less useful now, but um, uh, B for me, and I don't, I don't think his pick rate went way down. Um, Thermite, I think you need uh, either Habana or Thermite every single time. Still has very good guns and obviously extremely useful. Uh, Sledge, man, I love Sledge, you know, just pound through stuff. Um, I, I think he's, I, to me, he's an A. I, I love playing with Sledge. Um, let's see, uh, Twitch, again, uh, she's less useful now. So she's gonna move to a B for me because she doesn't have as many little Twitch shots or whatever they're called. Um, Smoke, uh, probably also just because he's really only useful for certain game modes. Um, and really much more useful in the final 30 seconds, final minute of a, of a match rather than towards the beginning. Um, so Smoke is more of like a B, but if he's anchored down and it's the final final minute, final 30 seconds of a, uh, of a match, then uh, Smoke's got a great advantage. Um, Thatcher is useful. Um, I like playing as Thatcher, um, but there's, there's way too many operators now that Thatcher is just not as needed. Um, Ying, let's let's go Ying. Ying, I actually, I've only played a handful of times and I have like my kill death ratio with Ying is uh, literally like 4.0. Um, so she has my highest kill death ratio by far, um, but really I haven't played that many matches with her, which um, is why. Uh, again, I think if she's got great guns, uh, she's got good speed, I think if you use her right, um, you can get in the objective super fast and and win, but you have to push when you use her things. And then finally, Vigil. Uh, I think when Vigil first came out, he was extremely useful, but people know how to find him now, and most people don't constantly use it, so you can still scan Vigil, so he's like a C for me, so that's it. Um, so that's uh, my, again, my opinion. It's not a definitive, so don't uh, don't get all ticked off because I put your favorite character at a, at a C or a D or something, or somebody you hate is a superior in my opinion. So uh, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. See ya.